Welcome back again to the Pinoy Crossover. We're talking about the two categories, MVP, Rookie of the Year. But now let's talk about Coach of the Year. And we know who the Coach of the Year this was. Is very familiar. This is very juicy. <laughs> this is a juicy. <laughs> Dwayne Casey. All right, let's, let's get it to Riz. Dwayne Casey. Uh, first of all, I'm not really a Raptors fan, but Same. He, he, he was, was a good puzzle. coach for them. Like, how long yeah. was he coaching them for? Three or four years. Three or four years. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he was a good coach for them. I don't know about getting like firing him because if you really think about it, Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan did not step up. I was up. saying that. It, it was, was just four, no was... sweep, and you're really blaming the coach yeah. when you guys are the ones playing on the floor getting your minutes. So, I That's think true. Dwayne Casey should not have been fired. And like, again, like like this guy said, it yeah. was a business move, yeah. and you wouldn't really take your stars out, but you point the finger at at the Somebody. coach. Yeah, sure. you have to point the finger. So, as, yeah. coach of the year, I think I think he deserved it. Yeah, Dwayne Casey, but obviously the. You know, Brad Stevens yeah. is just another, he's, he's, what he's yeah. just a yeah. genius. Like, yeah. so, okay, we'll give it to Dwayne Casey. Like, if he didn't get Coach of the Year, I think it would have been the saddest year for him. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, get a franchise yeah, yeah. year, yeah, not yeah, get a Coach yeah. of the Year. So yeah. I feel, I'm not saying it's an emotional thing, but, like, it's good that he got it because he needed it. And mm -hmm. um, he's now in a new team. So it kind of, like, gives him more motivation to prove that, yeah, I yeah. am the Coach I of the Year. Yeah, I deserve it. So, like, yeah. it gives him, like, a story and a platform. Yeah. Uh, so I, I do agree with the coach of the year about, about the firing. I st I'll still stick with it. Like, yeah, Raptors had to do something to show to the public. Like, because they can't. They can't. What do you yeah. do with you know trade Lowry, yeah. the Rosen? Like, yeah, well, it's easier to take a, uh, <laughs> to kind of use him as an escape coach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I agree too. I agree Same too. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a matter of I mean Mike D'Antoni too. I give him credit. Because he did have to de deal with injuries from Chris Paul and and mm -hmm. um, James Harden mm -hmm. for a couple of times, so he to give them to the you know the best record in the NBA, that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I guess unanimous. Dwayne Casey should have got the Coach of the Year. Yeah. Brad Stevens was good though. Brad like Stevens if nice. you think about the Celtics team, they were very different last year. Like Cel the Celtics literally traded all of their players mm -hmm. uh, before the last season started, yeah. and yeah. this season with Jason Tatum, Kyrie, Gordon Hayward, like well barely. Yeah, um, right. they still went to the conference finals and did they almost took out LeBron. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> close. It was so a game close. seven, right? Yeah. yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. So I have to like Brad Stevens is gonna be a great coach, like in the he's already a great coach, mm -hmm. but he's gonna be an even better coach in the years to come. Winning it, yeah. And it's gonna be dangerous too with all yeah. the off season moves and we don't we don't know how, what's gonna look what's gonna like happen? when it starts. <laughs> yeah. And talking about the off season already, let's talk about that past season, our favorite NBA moments. Yeah, to kinda of wrap yeah. it all out too, right? What was your favorite moment? What was it like the something about a game that you watched or just something in general that someone did throughout the whole season? What was something that stood out to you or they thought that was the best thing that happened in the NBA, mm -hmm. in the NBA this year? Jason Tatum dunking on LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. Like, well, LeBron did hit a three on his face one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So it's true, it but yeah. he's like, this guy, 21, like, he used to tweet to LeBron James, like, follow me <laughs> back. I'm and he like, did finally. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm this guy's nephew, this guy's son, follow yeah. me back. And then, what, like, five years later, he dunks on him. Yeah. So yeah. what better statement? Like, now you got to follow me back. You're my son yeah. now, really. That's a, <laughs> that's a good story. That's yeah, a good that's story. A yeah, it is. Story. What was your favorite yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, I guess you can go first. Uh, well, for me, it's the Warriors winning, but it didn't feel the same as yeah. how it felt last year. It was so a I sweep. Wanna, yeah, it was a sweep. Mm. It was. It felt too easy for. Uh, but I, I did like um, a lot of the things that happened in the uh, in the Sixers this year. I think it was just fun th to watch them play this year because mm -hmm. I've never really watched them because they just always like injured, injured <laughs> yeah. the, the, and just they the they were awful to watch. And the process finally uh, came through, and then it's fun to watch them now. They play defense. They're not like a team that just kind of uh, a young team that don't know what they're doing. That kind of got lucky in terms of getting into the playoffs. They were disciplined. Mm -hmm. I mean, disciplined. My accent <laughs> just came out there. Discipline. My discipline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they're a disciplined team. Like yeah. Brett Brown kind of got them all playing together. Uh, Simmons and Embiid are just fun to watch. I think they're going to be a beast in the East once uh, once LeBron kind of puts uh, starts you know declining. Yeah. I think Boston and Philly are going to be uh, are going to be a team to watch. Mm. Yeah. I guess my favorite is basically Golden State almost getting thrown out by uh, Houston. by Houston. Yeah. <laughs> like Houston had its run. Yeah. Like, and just to think that Houston would have won if they made only one more because th they missed how many threes in a that? Lot. There's so many threes. Last game they just. 
Yeah. So I think that storyline of just Houston looking is like that two trains gonna come and yeah. face each other, yeah. and Houston almost went past them. But they, they did. They uh, yeah. ro- the roster was designed to beat the Warriors. That's mm-hmm. what they did the, whole, the off season was just yeah. to get players so that they can beat the Warriors. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it was scary because obviously you and I are Golden State fans. Yeah. So. Kind of like knowing that yeah, Houston, I was scared. Like, oh my God, I was scared good. when like, yeah. I heard about Chris Paul getting and like not playing in Game Seven because yeah. of injury. I was like, oh, mm. yeah. okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, I guess, since we know all our favorite NBA moments, what can we look for for this season coming up? What's our favorite? What are you like, looking at? Yeah, what are what are we anticipating? I hope LeBron and Kawhi go to LA. Oh, uh, bring oh. back uh, the championship in Los Angeles, just like Kobe did five times. Ooh. She's a, not just a Kobe fan, she's a Laker fan. She's she's gonna, I, I she's am a Laker fan. That's going to be like, because Kawhi is a good compliment too. Like, to LeBron? Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, like everything that LeBron back? can't do now, <laughs> that's, what Le, that's what Kawhi does Kawhi, now. take it, take it doesn't over. talk anymore yeah. and play defense, because LeBron talks all the time. Yeah. I'm sad. To your point, Kawhi leaving, Spurs is my team. So yeah. like seeing a Spurs that just falls apart yeah. is something I don't want to see, <laughs> no. because Greg Pop no. is just such a good coach, and I don't want to see him coach a bad team. <laughs> so it's like, Greg, please retire if like your team's <laughs> going to be poop. Yeah. But... Um, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's good. the off season and all the draft picks too. Like all the good ex- draft, like new, hyped new up talent. Draft, yeah, you know? yeah. It's oh. good draft. Yeah. yeah, I think so. That that's for me. The new draft yeah. picks and then Spurs. Like hopefully they can get their self together. Yeah. How about you? What's your yeah. mine is simple. Mine is the Boston Celtics. I just mm-hmm. can't wait to see what they're gonna do this coming season. I don't know how they're gonna top what they did last uh, yeah. this just yeah. this season in terms of how far they've gone with what they had to do and and uh, how many injuries they had to deal with. So. Having Kyrie and Gordon here back, it's only going to get them better. I don't, I don't know how much better because uh, just because of the fact that of the team dynamics, you're going to have Tatum, Jalen Brown. Uh, I don't know how they're going to play. They're going to play probably Jalen Brown at the four, Horford at the five or something, and then Tatum at the three, and Hayward at the two, mm. and then Kyrie at the point. So that's a lot of things we will, I want to see happen. And I don't know what they're going to do with their um, with Marcus Smart and Terry Rozier, who are they could sign back, right? But it yeah. depends on how much they're willing to you know sign them to for. Sign, yeah. yeah. All right, well, hey, that went by quick. The show's over. Let's give some shout outs. Arish, thank you for coming once thank again. You. Oh, you're going to give me some dabs. Okay, got yeah. some dabs going. So, who'd you like to shout out? Anyone you'd like to shout out before we uh, end the show? Uh, shout out to my mom. I finally made it on TV. Woo! So, yeah. Titas! <laughs> shout out. <laughs> Mark and Mark, anything you'd like to shout out before we leave? Well, this is our last episode for the season. Mm-hmm. So, we want to thank everybody that have supported us throughout this uh, the whole season in the NBA, mm-hmm. throughout the whole basketball. Like This summer is all about uh, Filipino basketball now, mm-hmm. so we're going to be there <laughs> in every single tournament. Mm-hmm. We're going to get you guys, get coverage, exposure, and, and see the best Filipino basketball out there, yeah. Yep, that's right. And hey, it's it's almost, it's summer, so it's good to go outside. There's no excuse for you to work on your, you got to work on your skills for those tournaments so you can cook them. Cook, 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 cook. You know? Adobo. Yeah. Adobo. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Filipino basketball. If you have any nice videos or comments you'd like to uh, send us, make sure you look at our social media channel. But other than that, stay balling. <laughs>